بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله I believe this is the sixth jalsa in our sitting talking about Aqidah and Tawheed by Sheikh Ahmad Al-Ansari. And after he talked about the importance of Uluhiya, the worship of Allah Azza wa Jalla alone, he then began, he said, uh, Tawheed and Surah Al-Fatiha. He mentioned uh, about Tawheed you know, Islamic monotheism th- theism, and Surah Al-Fatiha. How, how you find that in Surah Al-Fatiha. So he says that Allah Ta'ala began his book with Surah Al-Fatiha, to teach the people the importance of Tawheed. And all types of Tawheed are mentioned in Surah Al-Fatiha. Likewise, the Tawheed mentioned in Surah Al-Nas is the same Tawheed which Allah Azza wa Jal mentioned in Surah Al-Fatiha. The wisdom is that you, O humans, just like you exist upon Tawheed, then it is obligatory, then you die upon it. Let's go to the ayah. What does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says? And we hear it all the time in Khutbat uh, al-Hajjah. When we're going to Jumu'ah or when we're getting married or, you know, any other, uh, or uh, muhadarat, lectures and so forth. What does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says? Fi kitab al And that the imam or the khatib or the muhadir, that he mentions this, he says, يَا يُلِذِينَ آمَنُوا وَتَقُوا اللَّهَ حَقُّ تَقَاتِهِ وَلَا تَمُتُنَّ إِلَّا وَأَنْتُمْ مُسْلِمُونَ O you who believe يَا يُلِذِينَ آمَنُوا اَتَّقُوا اللَّهَ حَقُّ تَقَاتِهِ O you who believe, fear Allah in, his, uh, in the, the most supreme way that He can be feared you know, fully having taqwa and do not die except that you are in a state of Islam, you are a Muslim. So this really affirms what the Shaykh is saying here because he said, likewise, the Tawheed mentioned in Surah Al-Nas is the same Tawheed which Allah Azawajal mentioned in Surah Al-Fatiha. The wisdom is that you, O humans, just like you existed upon Tawheed, then it's obligatory that you die upon Tawheed. We want to die in the state of Islam. We want to die as Muslims. We want to die on Tawheed. That's how we want to die. We want to die in the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. Not on shirk, not on kufr, not on down in the Quran, not in uh, saying Tawheed is, is, is not in the Quran, or you know, weird, strange concepts that can lead to leaving Islam. Because then you can belittle Tawheed. That's why it's so important to emphasize. I know people get tired of that. They don't even want to hear this stuff. And guess what? I hope to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that I keep saying this until I die. And I practice it until I die. And so I, I want to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with that. I don't want to meet him pleasing, being a cl- crowd pleaser. And then not having uh, shared the message of, of, of Islamic monotheism. That's what it's all about. That's what your Islam is about. Do not die except in a state of Islam. He says, Surah Al-Fatiha is at the beginning of the Qur'an and Surah Al-Nas is at the end of it. What is necessary for us is that we should not be busy away from the Qur'an with anything else. The first command that came in the Qur'an was the command of Tawheed and that was in the saying of Allah Ta'ala, O you people, worship your Lord, and that was in Surah Al-Baqarah. Baqarah. Uh, and, and we mentioned that ayat early on in one of the sittings that we said... Uh, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, يَا يَا الَّذِينَ يَا يَا النَّاسَ يَا يَا النَّاسَ عَبُدُوا رَبُّكُمْ أَلَّذِي خَلَقَكُمْ وَالَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلَكُمْ لَعَلَكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ O you mankind, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addresses, mankind, يَا يَا النَّاسَ عَبُدُوا رَبُّكُمْ O you mankind, worship your Lord, أَلَّذِي خَلَقَكُمْ who created you and created those who came before you لَعَلَكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ very interesting. Habitifillah looks like we found the snow line. 
there's snow up here a little bit. And fresh, whoa, very fresh. Uh, this could be a coyote, it could be a cougar. That's a lot. A karma come Allah. I'm not going to show you, but let's keep our eyes open in case we meet a friendly, uh, an unfriendly uh, creature. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. I mean, so we see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing all of mankind to worship him and him alone. And that's how we want to die. That's why Tawheed, Allah, Tawheed of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the worship of Allah Azza wa Jal alone, is what it's all about. This is what our Islam is about. And and that was the uh, the ayah in Surah, Surah Al-Baqarah. Then Allah Subhanahu wa Taala mentions let's get the nine a little bit ready because it's a little bit quiet out here. Just in case we want good access, easy access. In case anybody, we don't want to meet anybody that we never met before. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, then the Shaykh, he mentions, he says, Tawheed al mutabah So here the Shaykh is defining uh, some of the different categories of Tawheed that are mentioned. Uh, that the scholars have classified some of these different classifications. And he says, Tawheed al mutaba This is the Tawheed which is included in Tawheed al uluhiya Abdu Awl bin Hamad al-Ansari adds the definition of al mutaba is following the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So, that shows us, and we already mentioned that, that Tawheed Al-Mutaba, it just means, how is this included in Tawheed? Because that is the only way you can worship Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala alone. So that's why some of the scholars classified, made that classification of Tawheed Al-Mutaba. You know, the Tawheed of following the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. So it's just important that we know that the wasila, the means in order to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, that it is what? That it is that you, uh, you follow the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam. And I think we'll, we'll stop there and we'll continue on in the next sitting. Wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.